Kiss my ass goodbye. <laughs> but they never don't know how to look good. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Gauri Haseen. So, if you're new to my channel, welcome and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please like, subscribe, comment, press the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. And we're a fam of 13 freaking K. I cannot believe this. I am currently making this video on my exam preps, which is pre boards. So I just wanted to make this very, very clear. I'm not faking anything in this video. I studied for around five hours yesterday and I swear to God, I got almost my whole chemistry portion over. But I'm going to be very honest on the other side as well is that my more than all of my subjects are left. I'm not a very studious girl. I post videos of studies just so I can study, but I'm not a very studious girl. And I would really like to be one because I need to prove a lot of stuff to a lot of people. I know that's not why you should do stuff, but there are things that I need to prove to people. And the only reason I'm making these videos is so that you guys can get motivation to study. So this is my goals for the day, history second and third chapter, chemistry second chapter, Hindi first chapter, physics, finish the chapter that I've already started. Hey guys, so I just want to tell you about this great book that I found online, okay? This book is from Oswald Books. A lot of people suggested me this book. It's honestly so good. I never thought I'd like it as much, but I did. I'm going to open the science one because uh, this science book is something that we're doing today. I just wanted to show you this great mind map that they have. So like, you know, the uh, chemistry chapter, we have uh, periodic classification of elements. They have a whole mind map on it. So they have like a mind map on so many chapters, I think all of them. And I think that is so great. And plus, you know that you make notes and stuff and it just gets hard to write everything down that you don't know if it's important or not. They have all the notes. No jokes. They have all notes and it's so good. I cannot tell you. And I feel that is so cool. Like, oh my God. And then they have solved sample papers. I think these are previous year papers, but I'm not very sure of that. Whole solved papers. And like, this one is a 40 marks paper that I'm seeing right now. You can actually like, okay, so they have self-assessment papers also they have. This one was solved and these are unsolved as you can see. They are unsolved papers, so like they have like three to four unsolved papers that you can do and have these papers have like the important questions. I'll link it down below. You can go find it down. It is so good. So yeah. Hey guys so it is currently around five o'clock so i just finished carbon and its compounds so i can just check that off my to-do list and now we're moving on to history i took honestly a lot of breaks while doing this that's why i didn't film the whole two hours thing room's a mess ignore that but i finished it and i think we're gonna start with history um the two chapters that i was supposed to do which are the second sub chapter and the third sub chapter now i'm just gonna move on to the oswald books that i showed you guys earlier i'm gonna read from them and this is basically my chemistry portion which just got over i decided to take a small break i'm having maggie and i'm watching netflix because i need it i am kind of tired of studying and i've been studying since like yesterday so kind of it's a little too much for me Hey guys, so I just finished my food and I wanted to come up here and tell you guys a little something that I feel no, not a lot of people do. 
so it's that appreciating yourself appreciating yourself is very very important and doing what you started for what you're doing all this for is very important a lot of people are like oh my god you're finally active on youtube yeah because i finally remember what i started for i started for myself my sanity my peace my happiness and when i'm doing youtube i'm holding on to that i'm holding on to that will that motivates me to do it so here's the thing i gave a very 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 long speech and i just feel like you won't want to hear it so here's the summary of the speech uh I, all i said was be motivated to do it because there's a reason why you started i would say just hold on to that reason and keep doing it for the same reason beside that always always you know appreciate yourself love yourself appreciating your body your mind your heart every everything for helping you do it is very important English and I didn't really do much of English and I feel like I'm not very motivated to do anything today. Like I've done very less today. I feel I uh, know I just feel I've done very less today and I can do better. But today I just don't think was the day to do it. Anyways, uh, it's currently like two thirty and I always sleep late and wake up late so that I know why. Anyways, I'm gonna go sleep and you know maybe just watch a little bit of like YouTube. I'm gonna watch vlogs mostly. Much better. Still look like an old woman, but I swear this is a much better lighting than it was. <laughs> One thing that I hate is light. This is literally very annoying, but the only reason I have it open is because I need a good lighting on my face so that I can shoot well and be happy with what I shot. It is currently around. It's like two thirty-five. I hate that. The phone was recording straight until now. thing written on the end of the page like there's a different quote or a joke every day written on this book so today's word experience is what you get when you don't get what you wanted it's kind of funny anyways so i just wanted to show you what a typical actually studying week looks in my life also i'll be posting a prelims week in my life like a pre boards week in my life and yeah this is like a prepping for pre boards and then i'll post a pre boards week in my life i think i'm done with my journal and i'll leave for tuition at 3:30 and that's when i'll see you guys hey guys so it's currently 11 and I know I am very very late. I was supposed to shoot at nine, and then my friends came, and then they left at ten, and then I took like a small break, and I was like, you know, I'll just not shoot today. But then I was like, nah, I need to kind of study. I haven't studied the whole day except math, so yeah. We will be studying today, so um, I think let's get started. So we'll be doing physics. I think I'm not very sure. Let's see what we'll do. I'll just go with the flow. I was thinking of starting eco and stuff because that is like what left, but physics on the other hand is hard as well. So. Guys, there's this huge fly, like huge. I am so damn scared of flies. <laughs> Shit, can this just get out of my room? It's like so annoying. So smart! I literally put off my study table light and I put on the balcony light, and it just ran off. So now we can peacefully study. this is my strategy i know the board looks like really really bad right now but that's my strategy anyways uh 3 days i'll give to 
electricity one day i'll give to magnetic effects uh leaving aside practicing the mcqs and stuff so like in a day i'll just complete the portion uh in this two days i'll complete the portion and third day i'll do the previous uh, questions and stuff whatever is important uh besides that reproduction i'm giving it one to two days to complete and i uh, know like i was thinking if i can complete it in two days then maybe i can you know do the question answers and stuff the third day but then i don't know what's happening with this heredity though i'm sure i'll complete it in a day and i'll do the question answers second day so like these two i'm not sure when i'll do the question answers but i'll complete the chapters in two days and these two like the first and last i'll complete the chapters and the question answers in three days so that's what's going on right now beside that here is what i've written down and basically it tells me how much i have left So it's currently two. I made it pasta because that was made for dinner. I'm not. I did not really have a lot of it. I had like very little. It was pretty good, so I decided to you know just heat, reheat it and have a little more. Anyways, um, I had a huge panic attack, anxiety attack. I don't know what you'll call it. I don't know what it was actually. It was so bad. I just realized, like I knew it, but I just realized it again that my exams will be offline, and I was so scared. I don't, I didn't know what to do, and now I'm like so damn scared. And my first exam is of science. I started doing bio. I'm, I'm like leaving physics with the stuff I've already done, and I've kept, finished chemistry. I'm like, oh my god, and I have to start solving sample papers on Saturday or Sunday, and like there are so many videos to post, and there's so much going on. This is a little overwhelming, but I gotta do it. I have to get through this. It's hardly a few months, like two. Th two months i think and then we'll be done with 10th no more 10th ka pressure and i can just relax so yeah that's what's going on and i th and i don't feel like putting some time off so i think you'll see me tomorrow or later i know so yeah you guys a little about my hair care routine i don't really do this on a very daily basis like the serum actually got over but anyways um what i do is before going to take a bath i always brush my hair like totally untangle them and then i wash my hair so there's this trick that i used to wash my hair that's the reason first my used to my hair used to get very oily from till this part like this whole part used to get very oily and it was honestly so annoying and i was like i just washed them like yesterday what's wrong so i saw this thing on instagram uh I, while i was scrolling reels it was very random i saw that people what they do they take a little bit of shampoo like you can say that much you know just just that much of your palm that's all and you rub it nicely in your hand till it makes a whole uh the bubble thing and like it gets very it spreads out basically okay you get that whole thing on your hand it's probably white and stuff so then you just massage the upper part of your scalp like just the head not the hair just the head okay every part like you go from the start then you go behind then you go below like that's how you do it and wait for some time and like till then you could just normally take a bath with let that be in that time the shampoo will probably just remove all the oiliness all the dirt that's been in your hair or anything okay it'll just pull it out soak it out and then you can just rinse your hair after rinsing your hair you wait like totally remove the shampoo out and then you take a little bit of conditioner like the same amount or it really depends on your hair like my hair are thick so i need a little more conditioner conditioner than normal so yeah i use a little more conditioner i just like put it on my hands and then i take all my hair to one side and i just go like that and then i untangle my hair with my hands later on you just brush your hair and it won't be tangled anymore you remember i used to make that mistake i used to look so bad i used to look jungly with those hair hi uh my hair are a total mess 
as you can see whenever i take bath now my hair looks so bad after that like i don't know what my hair really hate about me but then i started doing this and it actually really helped me out um earlier when i did this thing like i not brush my hair but i just did the shampoo and conditioner thing it really 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 helped me how out because my hair would not oily anymore they didn't get oily so fast anyways let's get back to studies <laughs>